Welcome ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies to another high level match of Warcraft 3 and I've got for you none other but the legend himself here, Grubby, opening with a Farseer versus his opponent, X-Lord, who's opening things with a Death Knight here taking place at Twisted Meadows back in the distant August summer august of 2018 still the frozen throw days grubby still still used to be more active i can't wait forces are under attack to see how this game was going back then unfortunately i can't do nothing about the zoom here guys so you're gonna have to forgive that it's an old replay back from 2018 but if you've missed on a ladder game back when Grubby used to be a bit more active on the scene, now is your chance to do some catching up. I'm surely I'm going to enjoy this. Now Grubby seems not worried here at all. Continues to creep with the fast here. Taking into tier 2. X-Lord meanwhile cancelling the burrow here. Now he's going to try to cancel the shop. Unfortunately as well, guys, due to the way Blizzard developed this game, I mean, back in the day, I guess, the devs didn't know any better, but the overlays are not going to be working when we do all the games. I'm trying my best at the moment to hopefully one day give you an overlay that's going to work with all the versions of the game. Regardless of how old they are. But whether that's going to happen or not. Uh, I can't guarantee yet. That's going to be uh, remain to see. Now X-Lord is back again in the main base. And cancels that burrow yet again. Seems to be a little bug here. A bug issue. Uh, I don't know if you noticed on the screen. But there's a constant sign of uh, level 1 popping up on the screen. When I come to this area. Seems to be gone out. No, there it is. It just showed up here. Doesn't matter. Grubby here too. Attack. Building another Burrow Chain Lightning coming up onto the Fiends. Now Grubby is here to defend. A Going for a beast tree next. Oil comes from the DK on that Fiend. Ooh, tier 2 is ready for X Lord as well. We've got an Arubian Tower and we're going straight for tier 3. There's a bit of lagging as well. So we're just going to have to do what we can, guys. The best to our abilities. Warmill and another burrow for Grubby. No second hero. Interesting. Okay. More peons. Let's see. And this is what you probably consider as the natural on Twisted Meadows. That's what Gr Grubby seems to be doing now. X-Lord with a great sense of the game, of course. And here it is coming. He used to go back in the day as the name Romantic Undead, if you can see. And Grubby, of course, with a follow. Grubby, another defensive coil for the Fiend. Grubby is now chasing the Fiend with the Farseer and the Grunts. Nice ring of regen for the Farseer. Lich is now out on the map. The Death Knight seems to be making his way towards the main base. TC second on the way. And here are the Raiders with the Insnare upgrade plus another Burrow. And Tier 3 is almost finished. First touch is about to start arriving for X-Lord. Seems to be attacking the Altar of Storms with the DK. That's not gonna... Oh, he needs to be careful. The Insnare is not ready yet with the Raider. TC is now out as well. Healing Souls, of course. Okay. Farseer with a clarity potion. And now Grubby. Scouting with the wolves as well. Lich will finish the natural talisman of evasion. Not bad. Not bad for the Lich, to be honest. Perhaps not what X Lord would like to pick up attack. here, but still not bad. Probably trying to feed those wolves some of those acolytes, I guess. 
Not really working at the moment. Now, starting with the radar. Statue is out already. Destroyer's upgrade as well. And hold on. Rabi consumes the speed scroll. He's going to try to go for a hero Serrano. Take one of the units of Exlude down, I guess. It's not happening. Tier 3 for Grubby now. Second beast tree and another burrow. Brilliant. Big stomp with the TC here for the laboratory camp. A temple of boom. And as you can see, this is as far as I can zoom out, guys. So don't be mad at me. Grubby here. Doing some madness. I'm not quite sure what is happening, but he took so much damage on the TC. Are under He's got a nice belt of giant strength here, though. And using the healing styles now. On the opposite end, X Lord taking on the merchant. DK level 2, Sobby Mask. Nice. All with corruption. Level 2 Lich as well. Oh, that's a singled out Raider here, which Grubby just lost. There are the Wivens for Grubby as well. A player's forces are under attack. More Wivens for Grubby and reinforced defenses as well. Okay. Grubby taking on a red camp here. Versus the orange for X Lord. More Wimbo and a Gloves of Haste. Home of Strength for the TC. This is taking a long time for Grubby and it seems like X Lord is on the way here. Farsia is going to pull back. Giving the experience for the TC. That's Panda of Mana on the TC. Ooh, that was Frost Nova on the Grunt. And that's of course a dead Grunt. Grubby is not going to chance it here using the Speed Scroll. And... Uh, runs away he doesn't want to engage into a fight yet tier 3 is finished for grubby more wivens and it seems like grubby is transitioning into wivens dreadlord oopsie daisy dreadlord and web immediately counter for x lord for those wivens also we're going for abominations and now x lord taking on the goblin laboratory here that's gonna be dk level 3 for sure lich is already level 3 and there you go, second Sobby Mask for x -Lord. Oh my days. And now he's giving one to the Lich as well. And Coil and Nova at two. That's a kind of a very big deal for x -Lord. On the opposite end, we got the Farseer giving the Ring of Regen to the TC. And the TC giving the belt to the Farseer. Interesting. Another Tome of Strength on the floor. Okay. Hot Ghost Gem of Health. Also good for the Farsia. Yeah? Not so squishy anymore. And to be honest, not much is happening in this game so far in terms of uh, the two players engaging with each other. Seems like they're focusing on creeping a lot. There's X Lord now. We, the Dreadlord, Rune Braces. Mm. Not really the greatest for undead. And he's going for the Vampiric Aura first. That's interesting. Oh no. My bad. That's not the Vampiric Aura. Grubby not going for a third hero. Oh, he buys a Zeppelin. He's going to the island for one of those big Granite Golems level 9. And this was the worst possible time for Grubby to go and take on that camp. X-Lord is here already. And X-Lord is pushing forward. That's going to be a dead beast tree for sure. Okay, Tome of Agility. PC level 4. Oh my days. Amulet of the Wild. Plus the Rune Braces. Now this is very good for Grubby in this game. The Rune Braces for Grubby. Is super strong. Peels are repairing. And actually it would seem that 
Exlo struggle to take the Beastry down, kills one of the peons here, continues to attack the Beastry. Range weapons at 2 for Grubby soon and finally this Beastry is falling down. There's a watchtower there for Grubby as well with reinforced defenses. Nice and now x is going for the altar. Grubby consumes speed scroll. Nice sleep from the Dreadlord. And here we go. Oh, uh, and a big storm. And a second storm, of course. These consumables don't exist in Warcraft anymore, but back in those days. Yes, baby. That was for real. I mean, correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. But I don't believe these exist anymore. That was back in... Well, those were not really the old days either. 2018 was not that long ago. And I was away from Warcraft at the time. But you can have this as a unit in all the random mode. Or Potion of Invo, Sleepers of Agility. And the Zeppelin is here for Grubby yet again. And perhaps he's going for the other island. Exlord just revealed that, by the way. Red Lord is already level 2. And yeah. My god. Player's forces are under attack. Instinct was not lying to me. That's exactly where Grubby is going. He's gonna take this island as well. There's a little peon here. And Grubby's gonna expand on the island. Grubby, Grubby. Clever Grubby. How dare you doing this? Meanwhile, X Lord taking on his natural. Boot to speed for the Lich as well. DK with a double sobby mask now. And here we go. Grubby on the next island, taking on the next level 9 Granite Golem. That was kind of a huge clap from that Granite Golem level 9 as well. Okay. And look at this. Inferno Stone. <laughs> Inferno Stone for the TC. And Grubby just uh, sacrificed his Raider there. Kill this raider. And it looks like he's gonna go for mass weavings. The second beast tree was rebuilt again. They were two. X Lord is at one, so he has done an upgrade for his army as well. Okay, he revealed the expo. So X Lord now now knows he's got expo of his own here, and he's building a sacrificial pit as well. A town is under siege. Rabbit with a furball Usa warrior into the main base. The players' forces are under attack. And now with the weapons and the heroes, trying to tackle X Lord's uh, expansion. But also x -Lord onto the island cancels Grubby's expansion. So that's going to be cancel for cancel. You can see x -Lord already unsummoned the gold mine. And now Grubby's going to destroy this sacrificial pit as well. Good news for Grubby is he's building another expo on the opposite island. Uh, let's see if x -Lord is going to go exactly there now. Ooh. I believe so. But Grubby is on the move as well. Grubby is going for the main base. Or oh, if he drops down here and take the Acolytes, that will be a huge play. Would X Lord having the time to get to that expo? No. Grubby with the Bat Rider, the correct play. And now he's going on the opposite the islands all the way. Back. These are x Lord's Island, usually. Oh, hold on. Hold on, Grubby lost the Batrider. I switched for a moment. That's a heal potion. Oh, Tome of Experience on the floor. A player's forces are under 
And now X Lord, I can see he cancels Drabby expansion. Home of experience and scroll of resurrection. Oh my days. But also Grubby was attacking the main base there. Not enough to fool. Oh, hold on. Hold on, the Batty. Oh no. He destroyed the Zeppelin. And now X Lord has but no chance of leaving the island but TP. And he's actually lucky that he's got a TP. Imagine if x -Lord didn't have TP. <laughs> he would have ended up being stuck on the island. And now Grubby is here yet again. Oh, the Zeppelin got wept down. Reveals. Killing the Fiend. Surely. No, that Fiend is still surviving. Now he's killing it. Takes all the Acolytes out. Whoa, not really. Three of the Acolytes are still surviving. But also Grubby TPs now. What a crazy game. And now Grubby with the Kodobis. Almost 20 minutes into this game. <laughs> what can I say? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys. Make sure you do. Because I promise you there's going to be loads and loads and loads more of those. I told you I wanted to do some of those older, more classical games as well. Although this in particular is not considered classic, but... Come on, man. He's Grubby versus X-Lord. He's a legendary player. There's no way I'm skipping this. And I wish I could have started doing those a bit earlier. Uh... But it is what it is. Uh, I'm sure I've mentioned already probably. I want to start casting some 4v4. Potentially. Or FFA. And I wish I can do those as well already. But. I guess I didn't calculate that correctly. It's, it's, it's not as easy as I thought it might be. So I don't know whether that will come. Soon. Or if it will come at all. I'm not sure about that yet. But anyway, here we go. Grubby drops the Inferno. And X-Lord, I'm sure, is shocked now. That's a second stomp. Coil comes to save the Dreadlord. This abomination is already gone. There's a second one. Sleep comes from the Dreadlord. Grubby attacks the... Oh my god, another stomp. These stomps from the TC are ridiculous. Another chain lightning. And that's the second abomination gone. Level 4. Lich has fallen. And I got shocked. I got shocked here. It's not every day you see an Inferno dropping down from the sky fighting against a Dreadlord. <laughs> so it took me a while to get around this. Uh, I believe X-Lord's going to buy the Lich from the Tavern. There you go. Lich level 4. Back onto the main pitch. Grubby, Grubby with the Wivens. He's got the Expo secured finally. Has a little burrow there as well to secure the peons. And now it looks like... Grubby is with the advantage at the moment. He's got the hero kills, he's got the items, he's got the Expo. Although x is trying to secure an Expo, but Grubby, the legend that he is, you can see revealing the Expo. And he's already making his way here. Oh my days. Now he's going to scout the rest of the gold mines with the wolves. Grubby is a wicked player, guys. A wicked, are wicked back. player. He's coming. I don't think X-Lord has enough to defend. Storm, Chain Lightning. Ooh, the coil comes on time. Sleep again. But the damage is just too much. The damage is too much. And it's just a matter of time. Kills the fiend there as well. Frost Nova comes. Probably trying to pick off the statues. Oh my days. The Dreadlord in trouble. Big Slow's trying to take on the Inferno. DK. Oh, and that's a kill. And the G. 
G. Oh my goodness. What a game that was. Thank you all for watching and listening. I love you all. And I'm going to catch you on the next one.